Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Joe Slam back with another video. With now, with this new update and new balance changes, the meta has totally shifted. We got some new brawlers who was like Dookie Duke. Now they're on top of the top. It's insane. So, if you guys like this video, like, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Let's go straight into it, Slam Squad. Before we get straight into the top 10 meta brawlers to max out and to play for this new season, we gotta do the honorable mentions. Now, the honorable mention is Stu. Now, Stu got the healing buff and it's pushed him back. Better, much better his gas will heal heals him more efficiently and he's just able to stay more alive deal more damage you know just be alive just a better version of Stu, and it's really helped him out a lot now let's hop straight into number 10 hopping straight into nine, number 10 now we got Meg now her fall from grace is kind of sad now she was number one now she's a little bit off in, you know some people think she's out of the top 10 obviously but I still think she's really strong she's very versatile she's gonna be really good and ranked in my opinion and that's just a brawl you have to be able to max out and learn how to play because Meg she's all around her like she's like a buster but like a better version of buster in my opinion she could heal herself she could deal a lot of damage she's a tank she has a swipe super she's a very versatile brawl very strong let's hop straight into number nine up and straight into number nine now we got Byron now Byron the healer he just keeps his his stocks are absolutely going up you know he's very versatile in the bounty knockout meta because he's a very good long range and one of the few long range healers out there I think he's probably the only one like Pam but like he's more way more efficient so that's what makes him like top two healer in the game and you can heal up tanks you know there's a lot of good tanks still in the Brawl Stars meta you can heal up assassins there's a lot of good assassins in the Brawl Stars meta so he just finds a perfect place for him hopping straight into number eight now we got Laura now he's the only thrower on this list just because of his versatility his like build is just so unique and like when he first came out he was just like he was OP. I ain't gonna lie, Slams, but he was broken. I think, in my opinion, he was the most broken brawl there ever was, other than maybe Kit. But Larry, his versatile build just allows him to stay alive, just keep the constant control, keep the constant like momentum pushing. Very good thrower. One of my favorite throwers to play. Like now that he's nerfed, when he was OP, I didn't want to touch him at all. Let's hop straight into the next brawl. Coming at number seven, I never knew I would ever pick Mortis in a top 10 list in my life. But Mortis Hypercharge cooks. Now listen to me, I'm not even a Mortis player and I've been literally popping off with Mortis. Now Mortis, the Mortis stocks have frozen and now we're gonna have so much brain dead random pushing. But you know, you gotta pick up Mortis. Really good assassin, really good hypercharge, very the squad wipe ability is actually insane. He's seen Kenji come, he's like, I need to, I need, he's gonna take my spot, I need to do something. Let's hop straight into the next one. Now we have Surge. Now, Surge, that boy hypercharge is really good. The only thing about it is that it's very short time. So, honestly, all you gotta do once you get the hypercharge, just spam out as much shots as you can. Now, you know, there's certain good tanks, and he's always been around because he's a really good tank counter, really good assassin counter. He uses his super just to jump over and just to block them out and just destroy them with his gadget just pump out OD ammo and he's just very good very versatile brawler as well if you know how to play him if you know how to build him to the stages super strong let's hop straight into the next boss now we have Chester Chester is just a damage dealer like go other than one other person so only one other person that I'll say is much more of a damage dealer than him but Chester takes the, he has the range he has damage he's become more efficient his supers for some reason he gets like good supers all the time like usually he was like way more random now he's a little bit more condensed into like an actual brawler now you know what you're gonna get from him and it's like pushed him to a very consistent damage here and a very great damage there and counter i hate going up against chester and rank you definitely need to be playing this brawler we have daryl oh my god now daryl rework actually goes brr. you know it actually goes brr. i'm telling you guys those two extra rows him and Brawl Ball undefeated, I swear. And in Brawl Ball, he could cook up so much plays. Like, he could super, then super. Like, he could super, like, roll onto the ball, then super the ball to the net. He could roll. Like, there's just so much plays with the Daryl. The Daryl the Darryl stocks are here now. Some people have him, like, number one. Okay, buddy, let's relax. Let's not start the Glaze Fest yet. But he's really, really good. But let's not start the Glaze Fest yet. It's not time for that. But Daryl, really strong brawler definitely need to be definitely now we got gail the, the the goat of all goats one of my favorite top five favorite brawlers of all time in brawl stars now listen he's old man gail he came back to you know shut everything down you know 
tank stopper, assassin stopper, you name it. Like his twister gadget, his pushback, his star power, his whole build is just to make your life miserable if you're playing a tank, if you're playing assassin, if you're playing any aggro brawl at all. Your life is gonna be miserable going up against the Gale. His hyper charge, he's gonna shut you down. He's gonna make you be like, oh my goodness, I don't wanna lane him. I don't wanna touch him. I don't wanna look at him. Gale is that guy. If you guys don't believe me, go check him out. I got him a rank 35 from a long time ago. I've seen the capabilities of this brawler. You have to be playing the Gale. The Gale stocks, he's here. And they've tried to nerf him multiple times, but I just don't think you can nerf a brawler like this. His build is just very much too strong. I've been straight into the big boy. Big boy, pause, pause. We're hopping straight into the Frank. Now, Frank, they try to bring him down. They try to do some weird nerf to him, but it literally does nothing. I don't think his problem is the health. I think his problem is his. He's able to just spam off all the shot slams, but like, how much sense does that make? But you know, he's still a top two brawler in the game. Top one, if you want to put him there. I don't have a problem with that, honestly. Like, just really strong. You could first pick him in ranked and just totally dominate. I've seen people pick him in heist heist and they run down run down on me and i'm dead like i i'm i get so discouraged like frank is out here taking taking life something straight into number one we have clancy now clancy is the gold of all golds when it comes to damage dealing that boy eats my high save every day every day he eats the high save every time when i forget to ban him in heist he eats the high save every time i forget to ban him brawl ball his stages gem grab his stages and gem grab once you reach third stage and there's still time in the gem grab match bro you guys are gonna lose bro he's too fast he deals too much damage there's gonna be a squishy brawler on your side there's gonna be a tank brawler on your side there's gonna be some brawl in low health or is a tank or just like can like first aggro brawlers and clancy is gonna run them down three shots wide or his big old super looking like this gonna you're done you're done slam squad it's over it's over the clancy clancy took over in my opinion clancy's number one brawl i've been playing this brawl stars meta for you know i've been grinding a couple hours every day and it's been fun for the past couple days that it just came out it's been fun if you guys like the video like share subscribe world domination is on the way that's it for the video top 10 meta brawlers in brawl stars